Good morning. What's happening tomorrow, Phoebe? I'm going back to school. I can say the boom. This is very precariously balanced on several boxes of lights for the garden. Uh, good morning, it is Sunday. I had a very early start this morning. I woke up at six and finally gave up at about 10 to seven and got up. She doesn't like me to wake up early, uh, that early at the weekend, but um, stress and everything. Uh, so I've been working on finishing my little makeshift cow and it's done. So I have done a bit of a dodgy job of squaring off. I did a better job at this side. Uh, of squaring off the top to make it straight. As you can see, there's a little bit of rippling. I did reduce as I went round, but not enough clearly. And I think I might have done something slightly differently on this bottom edge. And I have made a cow. Phoebe's here. Say hi to the vlog, Mia. And next door's cat is here because she comes and knocks on the door. Um, she's only allowed in the kitchen next door's cat. She's quite an old girl. She's been helping me look for chicken breeds. And Phoebe is her. absolutely obsessed with the idea of getting chickens. I think we will be doing it, but she's currently online researching chicken breeders in Kent. <laughs> she's doing her research. Yeah, we're just researching breeds and places to get chickens at the moment. But I was just telling them about next door's cat. She's quite an old cat. Yeah. And she comes in because they've got a puppy. He's about a year old next door she. and um she, she and uh i think she gets a bit of a hard time from the puppy um, but as they said she's too good natured to give the puppy a swipe she's too too chilled a cat so uh i think she comes here just for a little bit of peace and quiet and then she goes home for her dinner and to sleep and we never feed her she doesn't need us to feed her she's not our cat next door love her very much she just needs somewhere to Chill out and, I love and be it. manhandled. Right, go and pop it back on I the chair. I don't manhandle her. Look, she's purring. Oh, that's a nice shot of you, Mia. <laughs> so this is the finished cow. Um, and I'm really quite pleased with it. I, I, I did toy with the idea of putting a little row of the pink around. But then I thought, no, because the pink is so bright, it doesn't really need any more. Um, so if you can imagine this with my black coat. My hair is really static from where I dyed it yesterday and also possibly because the unidentified yarn has possibly got acrylic in it. So there you go, finished cow. <laughs> okay, so now that I've shown you that, I, I apologise, I forgot to do the song of the day yesterday. So um, I'm going to do that now. I'm not going to do two to make up for it. Yeah. I'm just going to do the song that I woke up with this morning, it stuck in my head for no apparent reason. I haven't heard it recently. There's no reason for me to have this song in my head, but um, I'm taking it as a sign that it needs to be the song of today. And that song is Blackbird by The Beatles. I have added it to the Spotify playlist now. Enjoy, it's a lovely song and I need to listen to it. I think you need to listen to something full through, don't you, to try and get rid of an earworm. You need to, it's your brain going over things, trying to recall. So I think I shall listen to that whole song now, see if I can get rid of that earworm. I've already had two cups of tea. It's only half past 10 in the morning because I've been up so long, but I'm tempted to have a third one. Maybe I, I should go for caffeine free. So I was looking on where we're gonna get the chickens and they're due to hatch soon but we don't want um chicks we want like full size chickens so okay so i don't think we're going to get roadblock chickens as they're quite loud so i'm looking at the chicken for sale thing and i i like the look of the black tail chicken so i'm gonna do a bit of research on them so i think i'm gonna have a look at the black tail chicken right dan is busy uh emptying out boxes from under his side of the bed oh no he's not he's here mm -hmm. when did you come in the kitchen about 30 seconds ago morning <laughs> phoebe is occupied with next door's cat and I'm going to squeeze in a really, really quick cardio workout. I'm going to do fitness with PJ. I'm going to do her, what's it called? 30 minute burn circuit with dumbbells for women over 40. 
I'll link it underneath. It's about 28 minutes. I'm going to go and squeeze that in now before Lilia gets up and then I'm done and dusted and I know I've done my exercise for the day. And then I'm going to have a banana. <laughs> Changed my mind about PJ. She's an evil, evil woman. <laughs> I'm attempting now to walk up the stairs, but my thighs are burning. We're going up to Lilia's room. Party in Lilia's room! Yay! <laughs> Lilia's putting away some old Lego. Well, can everyone shush whilst I'm vlogging? Sorry. No respect. Um, yeah, so we're up in Lilia's room because we're helping her to dismantle some of her Lego sets that she doesn't want out at the moment. And we, she's got this strange alcove in her room that was kind of created when we built the loft extension. And um, that's where we keep all the Lego. And there's tons of room in there. And a load of the stuff that Dan pulled out from his side of the bed is all Lego stuff. So we're just tidying that out to make room for that to be stored in there. He's very childish. I am not childish. Which set are you putting away there, Dan? This is the, the, the creator diner. There's been an earthquake at the central perk. It needs dust. Do you want me to get you a duster? Yeah. Going skiing. <laughs> We're going for a walk. It smells very smoky out here. I think someone's having a bonfire somewhere. How lovely. We're going to get out of the house and get some daylight. Your sunglasses kind of make it look like a bug. Bug, bug. tree down fell through the ground lap like Alice oh what a sound this must be a nest I got rocks and sticks against my chest I'm Alice So you can learn to be kind oh, oh. Tell King of Hearts oh, oh, oh. To arm all his forces So you can learn to be kind It's about 20 to 5 now and I'm about to start making some preparations for dinner. We're having two different meals tonight because we couldn't decide what to have. And Lilia has been wanting to have my dad's version of bolognese for a while, which is made with beef, obviously. But Dan, my husband, doesn't eat red meat anymore. And obviously Phoebe, my youngest, is a pescatarian. She does eat fish. So I had some... Um, a vegetarian cottage pie in the freezer so Dan and Phoebe are going to have that and I'm going to make us grumps bolognese as we call it I'll show you the recipe it's a Delia recipe I have I've, oh sorry about that <laughs> let me set up the thing hang on okay it's a Delia recipe which he had sort of heavily changed and made notes and the, the key changes are there was a lot more wine in it and there was a lot more basil in it so i'll get it and i'll hold it up so you can pause it and read it if you want um i have to say i probably i like it so much because it reminds me 
of being at my dad's house. He didn't, he wasn't a big cook, and uh, but this was something he did cook often. He usually cooked it every time we went to visit. He also adds mushrooms, which isn't actually on here. So I'm gonna add um, some quite chunky um, cut up mushrooms into it because Lilia doesn't really like mushrooms, but they give such a nice flavor. Um, so I'll put them in, but if I keep them chunky, she can easily pick them out if she doesn't want to eat them. I know sometimes she can't be bothered, she can just eat some anyway. Uh, so that's the recipe there. With my dad's handwritten changes, I scanned this from his copy of Delia. And he has changed, uh, he's added four beef oxo cubes. Um, as you can see, he has changed the wine uh, quite significantly to about 150 mils. And the basil he has uh, increased significantly too. The meat I'm going to use instead, it says there um, 175 grams of lean minced beef. I'm going to use, I'm going to use 500 grams uh, and keep all the other ingredients the same bar the tinned tomatoes. I'll probably use most of the tin rather than half the tin and otherwise I'm going to do it as my dad did it. And we will have that with pasta. I'm going to get cooking, I'm going to put on a podcast on the iPad and do that. We had a lovely walk, um, it was a, a like perfect day for a walk, sunny, cold, beautiful, so it was really, really nice and we're hoping for a peaceful evening. Our neighbours next door um, have been decorating their bedroom and they seem to like to do it between the hours of 5 and 7.30 in the evening. <laughs> So the, yeah, the evenings have been a little bit stressful this week and I think that's one of the reasons I woke up so early this morning. I just, I don't know. But Dan bumped into him just now putting the things out and he did say he was more or less finished. So fingers crossed, no more evening DIY. So we can have a nice peaceful evening before Phoebe goes back to school tomorrow. Lilia's not back until Tuesday. Have I got anything else to say from your, I haven't really had a chance to look at comments today. Normally I can catch up a bit in the morning, but I was crocheting this morning. So thank you very much if you've been watching and commenting. I really appreciate it. Thank you as well. I've noticed that a few people have bought me a coffee or a kofi or a nice cup of tea as it is on my kofi account. So I just want to say a huge thank you to you if you've done that. That's incredibly kind and generous of you. And I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, what else was I going to say? I've done the song of the day, I haven't forgotten this time. And just thanks for being here and watching. And I'm glad to hear from you. I've had messages from you on Instagram and emails. Um, emails I'm really behind on. There are so many emails I've got that I'm really aware I need to reply to. And if you're one of these people going, why hasn't she replied rude? <laughs> I'm very, very sorry. Um, I just haven't got around to it. But with the girls going back to school this week, I'm hoping to have a little bit more time to catch up on those lovely things. So. Right, I'm going to stop yabbering and start cooking. I'm going to sit down and have my dinner so we will see you tomorrow for Monday and the first day back to <laughs> <laughs> and the first day back to school. Say bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.